Good afternoon. Welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Brock Shimano. Today is Wednesday the 19th and we had the market selling off pretty sharply here today. Corn traded down 16 and three quarters. Beans down 28 for that Jan contract. Wheat traded down five in Chicago and two in Kansas City. One of the reasons we did start selling off in particularly for corn was the ethanol production numbers and stocks numbers. And they came out, they were a bit disappointing. You know, plugging them into our models, you know, maybe you could describe to us why it's so disappointing here and what our, our expectations are compared to the USDA. You know, we did get some more bearish numbers out of the ethanol industry. We saw production down another 2,000 barrels per day. We saw stocks up 800,000 barrels this week. We're sitting at about 21 million barrels of uh, ethanol stock. So that's uh, getting to be a, a pretty large number in the grand scheme of things here. But if you take a look at uh, the, the, the model we've been following all uh, marketing year long, the red bars are what we are, are actually experiencing for uh, daily production. The green line is the amount of production we need to see to meet our folk forecast of 4.4 billion bushels going to ethanol production. And the blue line is what we saw last year at this time for ethanol production. Um, you know, the concerning thing here is that we do need to achieve uh, the green line on the daily production and be quite a bit above that green line to actually uh, meet the USDA projections of 4.5 billion bushels going to corn, or excuse me, to ethanol. So it's a little bit concerning that we're barely reaching our, our expectations right now, which are quite a bit lower than what the USDA has. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's one of the reasons why we're uh, why we sp why that sparked some of the selling here this morning, but I don't think it's fair to say that the ethanol numbers caused the whole thing. I think you know Informa coming out that kind of threw gasoline on the fire that uh, that continued the selling pressure, and they actually had a revised 2013 acreage forecast for corn that put their acreage numbers for corn uh, up 1.3 million acres higher than their previous estimate, up to 99 million acres. That is absolutely huge, and I. I think that helped augment the selling that we saw here today. For beans, they actually revised it about 1.1 million acres lower here. They went from about 80 uh, million acres previously down to 78.962 million acres. And that was, uh, I, I think that that would have helped uh, support the market had the market and has the, have the market not been focusing so much on the short-term demand. Really, we have this South American crop that's going to be coming off here in the spring. And I think in terms of supply, we're going to have the supply. And, and I think that right now the market's focusing on demand, uh, export sales, crush, all the short-term demand. That's really what's driving the market. I think these 2013 acreage numbers are still uh, off uh, you know, and, and really not weighing in on the market too much this morning. Brock, you know, you were talking to me about some of the technical levels, particularly for corn. What are you watching there and what would you advise producers? You know, I think uh, the bearish fundamental news that we did get today in the corn market was really what started the selling, but I think it was accelerated by some of the technical selling. Uh, we were testing the 720 area over the last couple of sessions uh, for the corn on the daily chart. Um, we broke through that area when the ethanol numbers came out and we continued to sell. We went down and uh, actually broke through the low that we printed on September 28th. Uh, we went down and tested the $7 psychological support level. We ended up at uh, 701 and a half uh, as a low today. So, you know, I'm kind of looking at this chart, Cody, on, on the daily chart. And if we break through the $7 level, I think the next area we need to be focused on is that gap that we left uh, back um, during that rally last summer in the 680 to 690 area. So, you know, if we break through $7 level, uh, we could see a little bit more selling down, possibly to about the 680 level. Yeah, so. corn, it really looks a little bit dangerous right around these levels. And I think for wheat, it has the same kind of uh, situation here. If you look at wheat, we went kind of, we've tra been trading right around that 200 day moving average. That has obviously stopped uh, the selling that we observed on the uh, 11th and the the 12th uh, after the the WASD report and and right now I think we're kind of hanging there right at, at eight dollars and we've tested it a few times if we fall if we trade through eight dollars I wouldn't be surprised to see some uh, impulses lower and some stop orders being triggered and perhaps some trend following money come in and doing some selling down there so just watch out for eight dollars I think that could really be uh, a key battleground here um, you know one of the things that we do need to, to pay attention to is export sales the numbers are coming out tomorrow let me just run 
through the analyst expectations before we sign off here. Uh, for corn, we're looking at uh, really anywhere between 250 and 550,000 metric tons. For wheat, five, uh, 450 to 650,000 metric tons. And for soybeans, we're looking between 650 and 850,000 metric tons. To me, when I look at those uh, analyst expectations, I think beans uh, may be setting, uh, may be kind of setting up for a little bit of a disappointment, especially on the heels of the cancellations that we saw yesterday from China and from the unknown destination. So the bottom line here is export sales coming out tomorrow. That should weigh in on the market. We are hanging right on uh, two key important levels for beans and or for wheat and for corn. Uh, we'll just have to see. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, give us a call at 877-472- 4607. Remember, we also offer a great trading platform, the, the platform we have up here. You can take a demo of that and have it in your home office. Uh, just go to grainhedge.com, take a demo. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for the Export Sales Report.